Um, hi, hi everyone. Um, I'm going to have a, a quick recap on the, the TED spread today. And um, this spread basically is now sort of stuck at a quandary, really. All, all short term activity has been very, very static. It's been hard to trade, especially since the long term commitment. Like um, by all these central banks to keep rates very very low, um, and considering that we're talking in TED spread anyway, talking about instruments six months out and two years out, that um, it's not really giving us much scope for much movement or anything like that. And um, you know, if we, for example, on the Fed announcement yesterday, where um, they said they're going to keep rates um, exceptionally low until late 2014, which was surprising. Um, for me anyway, considering they're pre-committing for that long, never knowing what's going to happen in the market. Um, so, you know, it's quite surprising, but if we look at the shats here, this was the move on the announcement, and with the bund and the bubble, we had pretty big moves as well as the 10-year, as you would expect, but on the shats we had we had one 10.36 pre-release, and then over a period of minutes, we just struggled to get up about three fat ticks, which was... Um, you know, pretty much showing that we have a big ceiling in the shats, and there's not really much more, um, you know, room it can go to the upside yield-wise anyway. And um, if we just look at it on a longer term, um, as you can see here, um, I'm sick. You can see that the, the ceiling's at 110.44. Right now we're trading at 40s. I haven't really traded in that much of a big range. It's been very tight range um, trading for the shirts. So, you know, I, I think the maximum we can really get up to is around here again. Unless we, uh, and this is also pricing in probably another 25%, um, 25 basis point cut by the ECB. Now, if we just look at TED, um, we look at it. Now, um, last time um, we, we looked at this. We're looking at this area, and this is when we had the big breakout on the back of the ECB meeting, and um, you know we had a surprising break upwards, and uh, not on the ECB meeting, on the actual downgrades of all the European bank um, or European countries, and um, with France getting downgraded in that. But yet we had a move upwards in the spread, which again was surprising, considering um, you know you would expect it to have some sort of credit aspect to it which would send it down but anyway it went up and um, then we hit us um, we hit a level at 8808 which has been a strong level so if we go back in this chart you can see over here as well found a lot of resistance around there and then it's always come back off you know we had some off prints around here like some volatility periods here and um, but since then we've always traded you know below the 88s but we've come back up and now um, we also we, once we um, reached there we actually had a nice bit of range trading over here bounced off as expected off 08 and then we came all the way back down to 98 which was a nice 10 point move and then uh, again we bounced back off um, up of it and then we traded and then you know I think many people might have been caught short here and I think a lot of people were when we had this second breakout at the beginning of the beginning of the week or beginning of last week and um, we actually broke out another 8 fat ticks and um, it's a pretty strong and brutal move and if we just look at it on a shorter term period as you can see um, a lot of people I know that are going short around 08 and then we just sort of broke out massively about 5 ticks and then we sort of bounced off that level, came back up again, and now so so we've come back into this um, previous range that we had over here. And um, it's very surprising that it's up there, but again, like I said, with, with both the Shats and Uribor, I think we've hit a ceiling. Um, the SEP12 is already pricing in um, another 25 basis point cut, so I can't really see it going much higher now, unless we're going to get 50 basis point cut and in terms of the shats same thing as well um, yields are exceptionally low so if anything the only way this spread can really go is um, down because I think the main the main risk on this spread is mainly a credit risk and if that is the case then we'll get a sell off in the ride ball but um, in that aspect um, you know I think it would be safe to say right now Playing this, we'll try playing it in this range, 98 and a half um, to 08, 
um, you know, but trading it all small size right now because it's very hard to tell when the next breakout's going to happen because lately over the last couple of weeks the spread has been very breakout prone. Uh, before that, as you can see, you know, we were just trading nicely in a nice 10 tick range for a number of weeks and you know, it's a very nice spread to trade and this is exactly what you're looking for when you're trading a spread, just looking for something like this um, where you know every day there's an opportunity, a bit of averaging to get in and out but we had the big breakout here and we had a second breakout over there and then we now we've come back into this range so you know um, I think the best thing to right now is just play it small and um, really sort of try to see where it really finds value and then just take it from there. Well, until next time, um, good luck with trading.